in Illustrator 221, what you can do, you can modify these points of this radial design and you can see it's a live effect. So you can create all kinds of unique designs very quick and easy. Now it's all the same color. So you've got obviously a red design there, modifying it all of around here is red as well. You can't have multiple sort of colors, unfortunately. It's just one solid color. Now, of course, what you can do, if you want, you can, of course, add additional paths, which, of course, can be different colors. But I'm just going with a single path, single design, all the way through, so it's one solid color. So how to do this? I'm, doing, I'm just going to quickly come out of there, and you can see your design there. And again, it's still live. The actual end result is very odd in terms of how it's constructed. So you might find if you try and expand it, the result might not be easy to manipulate. You might end up with various groupings that are not particularly you want. So I'm just going to remove that. So I'm just going to go to the pen tool. You could use curved tool as well, perfectly reasonable. And then I'm just going to add some points. Now you don't have to use red. Use, of course, any other color as well. And I'm just going to have it there. It can be an open path. So I've got open path there. And what I can do, I can go and change the fill over in properties. Can't see that. Window and properties. Maybe go for green. So with that selected, what I can do, I can add a mirror effect. Now this is what the whole thing is. It's going to use the new repeat feature. And that's why it's only available in this version, latest version. So you just go to object menu and repeat and mirror. And you can see what happens. You've got this mirror just lying there. Now I've created lots of videos about the mirror. So you can go and look out those for how to control it, manipulate it in many different ways. But here, I'm just going to quickly show you, you can modify this and you can drag that in and you can see it sort of creates all kinds of unique paths. Of course, what I'm going to do next is add a radial. But also what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, you can also quickly here at this point, you can still modify it. So you can use pen tool and remove or add additional points. I'm just going to go with direct selection tool. That's the key one, direct selection tool. Make certain none of the other points are selected, otherwise it will all move and then select that and you can see that will move. Now it's a pity there's with this mirror feature, it's only mirrored. It's no mirror and flip. I would love that feature, but uh, well, mirror it's fine. So it's just exactly reflected on the other side, but it would be nice obviously if you could do the other as well, because that would make it even more super useful. So you can manipulate this design in all kinds of ways. Change that. Drag that down there. And again, like I say, you can still go and add additional points, remove points if you want as well. And modify it using maybe the curvature tool as well. So you can see the design there. So once you've got your design, and you can see it's a mirror repeat. Now, come out of it. Now, if you don't come out of it and then use the radial within, within this mirror repeat, it works in a slightly different way. It's still quite effective, still quite interesting. Uh, but it's uh, not what I want. So I'm just going to come all the way out. So you go back to just this point now. You can still edit it. You can just double click it and go in and modify again. And I will do that. That's the thing. So I've got that design there. What you can then do is go to object and repeat and radial. And then you will see what happens. Like I say, it gets a very complex path. I mean, it really is a mess of, of lines. Expanding it, it sort of becomes... So it's really nice to work, I say, with one solid color, go with that. Now, what you can do, you can modify this. You can obviously have it go like that. Now, maybe have it like that, perfectly reasonable. And you can also modify the center point. So you can make it zoom in there or maybe further out, up to you. And you can tweak it at any point. So you can decide to have more, that go out. But what you can do, you can still edit it. So if you decide, you know what, I want to change this, the points. What you can do, you can just go, just gonna double click, double click, go through it right down to there. And then what you can do, you can move that again, and you can now go to the direct selection tool, and you can see all those points are selected. Maybe it's best to zoom in a bit. It's a bit hard to, but what you can do, select that, the anchor point, now, with all that selected, obviously the whole thing moves. Don't want that. What I just want is that one point there selected. So with that one point, you can see so you can manipulate that to create that design. Move that. You can see all of them will move as well. And again, you can move this one to the center. 
move that like that and so on you can see all of them change and again at this point you can see fill there so if you want to change the color you go to blue maybe change the stroke as well if you want maybe go for two point it lets you i've got blue there on black and you've got that design there you can see the design there and again you can still you also manipulate the rounding as well so if you want to change it rounding so it's rounded there you can also manipulate that if it lets you access oh there it is so you can change that so you can create some nice rounded designs as well and you can still continue to tweak these points and add additional points if you want to do that as well and of course you can add effects as well so you can go to the effect menu you can go maybe 3d so you can have a 3D effect here and also drop shadow, other ones offset, all those sort of things, all of our drop shadow, like I said, everything's available. Now, what you can do, you can come out of there again, all the way out, and you've got your design. Now, you can expand it, but like I said, the end result is not particularly the easiest once you've got all these multiple radial, multiple re, uh, mirrors and everything else, it's sort of to expand it. You get loads and different paths and things. It's, it's really a bit of a, a tricky thing. You can see how it's constructed, but it does make it slightly more awkward to edit. But that's why you've got this lovely design there. And of course, what you can do, you can always store it away in the library. So you can go to Window and Libraries. Add that and then you can add it in Photoshop if you want. So you could use this nice radial design in Photoshop. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to now do, I'm just going to quickly show you with the curvature tool instead. So let's curvature one. So what you can do again is exactly the same. You can do the same and this time obviously I'm going to get a slightly curved design obviously. And escape. So you've got that design there. What you can do, of course, again, go to object and go down to repeat and mirror. And you've got the design there. Now you can see there's a bit of a gap there. You can always sort of move that in. So you can see it becomes a continuous there, or you can have it separated. And of course, you can still go to the curvature tool and you can manipulate these points. So you can just say, oh, I'm going to just change that. I'm just going to change that. I'm going to change that or add some more points. So click there and then add some more. So all kinds of lovely radial designs can be created, oh, sorry, curved designs can be created, but which can also be used with the radial feature. That's the next thing I'm just going to do. So I'm just going to do that. I wanted to just quickly just show you that there. And now I'm going to go with that. So again, come out. Now, if you don't come out, if you just select that and then use object repeat you can do it but the result is not really the same so i would suggest come out and you can see you've got nothing there it's come out of the isolation mode and you've got your design there which is quite a nice design itself but now what you can do you can go to object and repeat and radial you could also of course use grid as well and you can see the design there and you can manipulate that and you can see you can then change the number of instances. If you don't want to use it that, you can go over here, and that's in the window and properties, and you've got that 10 there, and you can also modify the distance as well. So you might just want to tweak it to that point so they're close to each other. And of course you think, well, I want to change it again. What you can do again, double click, double click down to that design there. And just go with the one that's on the left. And again, when you do curvature tool, and you can manipulate, that you can see that changes for each of those designs so and you can extend it out there obviously it goes slightly off so you can't see it and you can if you want you can move those together or you change that one and so on you can see you can create all kinds of now of course what you can also do you've got this design it doesn't need just to be on its own i mean anyone look just oh that's just going to be but what you can do you can always add other paths of course there's the ellipse so i'll just quickly add that add that as well now you see what i've just done i've added it on the wrong side what i need to do is add it on this side anything 
on that side is ignored. So simply just quickly add there and you'll see it duplicated. And you can change position. Obviously, you might like it like there, maybe there, there, and so on, so on. So you can just tweak it, obviously, create all kinds of design. And if you want, of course, you don't have to then have it all blue. You can always click on there and you can go for maybe red. So you can, so you can create all kinds of fairly unusual designs using this approach. Now, what you can do, again, you can still go back to the coverage tool and still manipulate that. And I say you can change it, turn around and say, you know what, I don't want blue, I want red. So you can go with red instead. And again, come out all the way out, and there's your design, oops, design there. And that can be expanded, but I say the end result is a bit more messy to manipulate, I would say. But that's a quick way of creating some really quite interesting radial slash mirror designs in Illustrator 2021. I say it's not available for earlier versions, 2020, etc. So hope you found this tutorial of interest, always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Critter, Painter, Rebel, and many, many others. Also, any comments, please add some comments. What things would you like me to show differently? Maybe some things explained differently. What things have I done wrong? Please let me know. Always please add some comments. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.